Hello scholars, this morning we're going to look at place value at the grade 4 level. So, in the number system, numbers can go up to infinity, right? So the numbers can be very, 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 very big. Too big for you to count, too big for you to name. At this level, we're going to focus on numbers that are in the millions range, right? The highest work, the highest place value we're going to go right now is million. But bear in mind, numbers go on and on and on and on and on. Now, they go on in both directions. As you get more advanced in your studies, you will realize that numbers get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller to infinity, to negative infinity. And they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger towards positive infinity. Right now, you don't have to concern yourselves with that. Just focus on the place values that fall between the units or the ones and the millions. That's where we're going to keep our focus within that range. So, the units or ones are followed by groups of tens, hundreds, thousands, and if you look at this chart here, so we have the ones or units, then the tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and million. We're focusing on those seven digits. So, if we are given a number of, well, a set of numbers, and we are asked to fill them in to see where they fall on the place value chart, we start with the units. Start filling them in from the unit moving to the left. All right, so we're going to fill in some numbers. This is, well, let's start up here calling these numbers. So this is 4,397. So 97 is 9 tens, 7 units, or 7 ones. 5,025, now you notice, in 5,025, we have a zero holding the place, because there are no hundreds. So in the place value system, the zero is of crucial importance, because the zero is used to hold the place when there are no when there is no digit in that place. There is no other digit. So there are no hundreds. If we had just written five two five, that would be five hundred and twenty five. But we want to represent five thousand and twenty five. There are no hundreds. What do we do? We put a zero to hold that place. 760. So again, here is a zero holding the place, the units place in this case. There are no ones. There's, there are no units. The zero is holding that place in the units. If we had just put 76, that would be 76, but we want 760. So we have to put a zero in the units place to indicate that there are no single units. There are six groups of tens, seven groups of hundreds, and no units. And this is just number nine, right? Nine units, it is, it, if, if, it, if it were to get one more, then it would become one ten and no units. So in our system, in our number system, Nine is the largest number that can occupy a place. Once you get one more in that place, 
it goes over into the next bit. So if we get one more on the nine, we can't write 10 units. Our number system is the base 10 or the decimal number system. Nine is the, the, the highest single digit that can hold in a place. So even if it were nine tens, and we got one more, which would mean another group of 10, so 10 tens, we could not put 10 tens, we could not put 10 here. We would have to realize that those 10 tens make 100, and we would have to put it in the hundreds place. So that's how it works in our number system. We count in groups of 10. It's called a decimal system or a base 10 system. So nine is the highest digit that we can have in any of the places. Once you get one more, one more unit, that makes 10. One more 10, that makes 100. If you had a nine here, nine hundreds, and you got one more hundred, that would be 10 hundreds, which would be, go over to the thousand. Now let's fill in these numbers then on the number chart to see where they would fall. So this is the number 136. So we start with the six, six ones, three tens, and one hundred. That's where we would fill 136. 19, 19 is just one ten and nine ones. So we put nine ones, one ten. 23,000, now if you notice what it says here, zero is a placeholder, commas separate at the thousand and the million places. So when we're writing numbers, once we get to the thousand, we put a comma between the thousand and the hundred. So if you're, if you're looking at a number where you see the, the first comma, that indicates that this is the thousand, and we have 100 cents one. The second comma indicates million. So here this is 1,296,421. So 23,000, you can actually use the comma and call it thousand. So 23,648, right? So we have our eight, or 600, 3,000, 20, or two, two ten thousands, 23,646, so it's 500, three tens, six ones. So six goes under the ones, three goes under the tens, five goes under the hundred plates. 1,296,421. So it's a 1, 2 tens, 400, 6,000, 9, 10,000, 200,000, 1 million. And this is 300,000. Here we have our two placeholders to indicate there are no 10,000, no thousand. So it's 300,740. Zero, also there are no ones. Four tens, seven hundred, no thousand, no ten thousand, three hundred thousand. Right? So if we follow the chart, and if we get to the point where we can picture this chart in our heads, starting with the units, the ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, right? We can picture the, this chart in our heads, then we can just fill it in mentally, and the more you practice, the better you get at it. Keep practicing and you'll get better at it. So, this is showing the power of the zero. 
as a placeholder in the place value system, the base 10 place value system, the zero makes all the difference. The zero, look at this. The zeros make the difference between a 3, 30, 300, 3,000, 30,000, 300,000, 3 million. They are all different quantities by a vast amount. 3 million is a vastly bigger number than 3. But what, what is the difference in terms of how we write it? It's just in how many zeros follow the three. If it's just three ones, then there are no zeros. There are three units. 30, there are no units. Three tens. 300, no units, no tens. Three hundreds, and so on. 3,000, no units. No tens, no hundreds, three thousand, and so on. So the, the zero, even though many persons might think of the zero as nothing, as emptiness, as void, in mathematics, the zero is a very important digit. A very important digit, particularly as a place holder. It makes the great difference between, look at all these numbers, totally different numbers. But if we left out one of the zeros, we'd be in big trouble, wouldn't we? If we were writing 3,000 and we left out one of the zeros, we would actually end up writing 300. Suppose I was giving, I was supposed to give you $3,000 and I'm writing you a check and I wrote 300. Would you be pleased about that? Because when you go to the bank, they are going to give you $300. That's $2,700 less than what you should have gotten. And if I were to give you $3 million and I left off three zeros, you'd end up, you go to the bank, you'd get $3,000. That's a whole lot less. A whole lot less than what you should have got, three million. So don't forget your zeros and their value in the place value system. So to recap, we have units, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million. And remember, this is not where it ends. That's nowhere near where it ends. It goes on and on and on, right, on and on and on. Right now, we want to make sure we master this much. For now, we want to make sure we master from the units to the million. So remember to practice. Get some, a bunch of numbers and practice filling them in until you have mastered it. And I'll see you next time.